Hi, this is David Milford. This video is about the Beyond the Maps Edge treasure hunt by Justin Posey. And I've discovered a hidden code in the poem that I wanted to share with everyone. So in the first two lines, it says, can you find what lives in time flowing through each measured rhyme? And I thought about that and thought, how can you measure the poem, and there's certainly hundreds of ways to do it, but the simplest might be to count the number of syllables in each line. So I've done that, and I came up with a matrix that you see here of numbers. And once I had done that, I realized that each number can be converted to binary, and it makes a quartet of binary numbers for each stanza. And Justin Posey is a computer programmer. So for sure, he knows binary numbers. And also for sure, he knows ASCII code. And a quartet of binary numbers can be converted into an ASCII code. When you look at the decimal equivalents of those numbers, they are one, three, two, six, and 15. And I couldn't make a lot of those numbers by themselves, uh, except for the one, three, two. If you took that and did it as a latitude from the South Pole, then you end up with our familiar number 42 after you subtract 90 degrees at the equator. So that's kind of interesting. But um, when we look at the ASCII code, we end up with letters, which are A, C, B, F, and O. And when you try to unscramble those letters, there weren't a whole lot of words in English that you come up with. Um, the only one that made any sense to me for terrain purposes would be BOA, which would be a snake, which would be a winding serpentine canyon or creek. Uh, but there are a few that you can make out of it in Spanish. And I felt that for sure Justin Posey knows some Spanish also, since he lived in Tucson. So you have the word Cabo, which means Cape. But I don't think that applies here because um, it's, I don't think the treasure is near the ocean. Um, and then you have the uh, superhero angle for Cape, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, I'll do another post about that one. Um, but then you also have Oka, which is a goose, uh, which actually is a fairly common terrain terminology. It means goosenecks, which would be, again, a winding serpentine canyon or creek. And then... Another word in Spanish is boca, which means mouth. Uh, and in terrain terms, that means the mouth of a creek or a river where it enters or exits a lake. And again, I'm assuming it's not near the sea. So when you put it all together, you get uh, that the treasure might be close to a serpentine creek, which is close to a lake. So if it's helpful, I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Let's be safe out there.